Hey everybody, Don here again, back in the paint shop. And today I'm going to paint a couple of jerk baits. Um, have rattles in them, uh, shallow bills, so they're uh, probably not going to dive too deep. Uh, we'll see. I'll put them in water to see what they do once they're all done and hooked up. But I imagine they're going to be a slow sinking jerk bait. And I'm going to do this in what I think is called a clown uh, pattern. Mostly chartreuse. Uh, I'm going to use a white belly on them, and then the head will be a kind of a reddish color. May add a little sparkle to them, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, let's see how it comes out. Well, before we get started, let me just show you something. So as a beginner airbrush user, I've been using the heck out of this cleaner, trying to keep my airbrush clean. And like I said earlier, this stuff ain't cheap. Nine dollars for eight ounces. So what I decided to do was go along with a bunch of hacks that I've seen on YouTube and make my own. Here's what I did. So I took 100 milliliters of Windex and I went with the ammonia free Windex just to be on the safe side. I know the ammonia can be corrosive and has some fumes. Uh, 100 milliliters of distilled water, 50 milliliters of 91% isopropyl alcohol, and then about 10 drops of this uh, glycerin. Now all told, the cost of these uh, four items was less than $18. Two bottles of this. Well, I've already mixed up two bottles and I have all this left to do. So this will be a major cost savings. Um, yeah, more money I can spend on paint and all that other stuff. So, hey, let's get to painting. I'm gonna paint some uh, some jerk baits. So I'm gonna start off by uh, painting these. Uh, they've already been primed. I primed a whole bunch of baits the other day with just an opaque white, so you could skip that step. Uh, I'm using this uh, pearlized white. I'm gonna paint the bottom half of these with pearlized white. Uh, my intention is to use a, a chartreuse color. Uh, this is from um, the U.S. Air Art Supplies. This is what they call their chartreuse. But, I mean, it is super close to uh, this pearlized, which this is called pearlized lime uh, from Createx. So I want to try the uh, pearlized colors. Uh, I did a little pearlized black on the, um, on the crawdad that I messed up, but... Um, I uh, wanted to give these a, a try, so let's put that on there. All right, shake that up really good. I'm starting off with the pearlized white. And I'm not going to thin this. Put about six or seven drops in there, not much. All right. I'm running my, uh, my brush at about 20, 25 PSI. Kind of hard to see on this already white painted blank. Need more paint than that. Paint number two. It'll be pearlized. They call it lime, but to me that's a chartreuse. And let's load up the brush. Oh yeah, that looks like chartreuse to me. 
the upper camera going. Make sure we heat set that. All right, for the final color, I'm going with a transparent bright red. And, you know, the clown bait is typically just a chartreuse color with some uh, red around the head. And we'll see how this comes out. All right, load up the brush. Don't need much. With four drops. How about that? Might not be enough. Ooh, ooh, that is bright. All right. All right. get too much on here. I'm just kind of letting the uh, overspray hit that. A little on the top. All right, so that was a very simple pattern. I mean, clown, a couple of clown jerk baits. They're Pearlized white on the bottom, pearlized chartreuse on the main part of the body with uh, some red on the head. Um, tomorrow, I've got my scale coming, which will hopefully allow me not to mess up the clear coat mixture. And so I'll put the eyeballs on them tomorrow. We'll put the um, clear coat on them and we'll put them on the, uh, the rotisserie and then these will be done. Uh, I may add some glitter to the clear coat just to spice these up a little because they're so plain, but uh, stick around. It's... All right. Well, I had got my scale today, and hopefully now I can mix up my uh, my true coat and get the, uh, the ratio right and not ruin any more lures. But look what else I got. I got this box from Renfio. A uh, 28 different colors of glitter. And uh, wow, that's pretty cool. And I don't know what you want to call this glitter, pixie dust, whatever. But uh, I'm going to put just a little bit of this in the, uh, in the first coat of, uh, of epoxy. I think I'm going to go with this uh, laser light gold, maybe this laser green gold, just to... Uh, put a little bit of sparkle on these really kind of plain looking uh, jerk baits. Hang out. Okay, so now we're gonna mix up the true coat. 
and we're going to use the scale. All right. So we're tarred out, zeroed out, I should say. And let's see. I'm going to try to use the measuring part, but then go by the scale. Okay, so 3.14 grams of hardener. So I want to take that up to 6 grams total, and that way I'll be just a slightly bit above 1 to 1. Oh, 0.5. Okay, 6. Right there. I don't think I can get much closer than that. Now I gotta blend this for five minutes. Let me set my timer. Stopwatch, reset, go. All right, so now five minutes of stirring this up. All right, now I just want to put a little bit on here. I don't really even know how much. I should have a little spoon, but I don't. All right, see that? That's probably more than I want, but just a tiny little bit. Now we're going to mix that in, and it's, oh, it doesn't look like it's going to be too, too much. That's going to be kind of cool, I think. All right, so. And All right, let's put a little bit of this on here and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Not going to be a lot, but it's just going to be, I think, just enough glitter to, uh, you know, maybe kind of simulate some scales. I'm going to put a good coat of this on tonight. Put it on the... Uh, rotisserie and then after it dries for 12 hours if I got the mixture right and everything's good tomorrow I'll put another clear coat on when I do that it'll just be clear and I'm going to try to put just a tad bit more hardener on it and we're going to see if uh, I can salvage that uh, that crawdad that I messed up the first one on. That looks pretty good. I think I got pretty good coverage. Boy, just the tiniest bit of glitter. I really like that. Oh. Get a little extra here by the... Uh, By the hook hanger. All right, let's get that on the rotisserie and get that thing turned on. It is almost two o'clock in the afternoon, and I put those two jerk baits on the rotisserie at 8 p.m. last night. So they have been on for almost 18 hours. Let's, uh, let's take a look at them because I want to make sure they're not tacky. They are not. They are hard as a rock and nice and dry. And they look really good, except for the fact that it's a little thin spot on the back. So I originally intended to do two coats, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put a second coat of just clear 
on these and uh, and see how they look. But other than that thin spot, they look really good. Now, I don't know if you can see if the camera picks up the little bit of glitter that's in there, but uh, I can see it with my naked eye and it looks really nice. So we're gonna put a second coat on here and, uh, and we'll be back. Yeah, nice and hard. Here are the uh, are the two jerk baits, and I gotta say they came out pretty darn good. You can't really see the glitter in there very much, but trust me, uh, it's there. So here's the scoop. I'm giving this one away to a subscriber, and uh, here's what you got to do. Number one, you got to be subscribed. Uh, number two, you got to comment on the video, and in the comment, put hashtag clown, uh, because that is a clown pattern on that jerkbait. That's it. Be subscribed, comment, and put hashtag clown. All right, so that's how you have a chance to win this jerkbait. Number one, be a subscriber. Number two, comment on the video, and somewhere in your comment, put hashtag clown. Uh, a week after this video post, I'll uh, I'll do a drawing and uh, we'll give this bait away. I'll do a short announcement video and you just need to reach out to me within, let's say, 48 hours and, um, and uh, give me your mailing address and all that. And I will send this bait out, Gamakatsu hooks and all. Now I'm going to do a little something extra. So in the next five weeks, I'm going to paint five more baits. All different style baits, all different patterns. And I'm going to keep one for myself, and I'm going to give one to one of you guys. Now, if you win one of these baits, I want you to take it out and fish with it. If you catch a fish with that bait, take a picture of the fish with a lure in its mouth and send it to me via email, and I will enter you into a special end-of-the-year giveaway. In fact, I would appreciate it if you take a selfie with your fish and the bait and all that and send it to me, but that's not required. But there's only going to be six possible winners um, to be entered into that end of the year giveaway. So your chances of winning are going to be really good. I'm not going to tell you what's going to be in that giveaway just yet, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. So thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Peace.